wanted to share with you some of the special Christmas traditions that we've had with, in the Lotus household over the years, uh, particularly those on Christmas morning. Uh, the first thing that happens on Christmas morning is the hunt for baby Jesus. Our main uh, nativity scene is uh, one that was given to me by my parents when Peter and I were first married. And when it's put out in early December, baby Jesus is, isn't there. And uh, so he is hidden on uh, Christmas Eve. And then the first thing uh, that the kids do on Christmas morning is to go and look for baby Jesus. And when he's found, then he's put in the nativity scene to make it complete. The second thing we usually do is a sock for Jesus. Uh, in early December, when we put up our decorations, uh, we hang up a stocking with Jesus' name on it. And then uh, throughout the month of December, each of the family members is given a little slip of paper where they can um, think about and write down what they want to give Jesus this year for Christmas. And then they uh, write it down and they put it in the sock. And then on Christmas morning, um, that's the very first gift that we open is the... Uh, is the Jesus sock. And then we share with one another what we're going to give Jesus that year. Over the years, some of the gifts that we've given to Jesus include things like um, deciding to be baptized, uh, giving gifts to the uh, CBM gift catalog, um, going on mission trips, learning more about uh, some of the Jewish holidays and festivals, and uh, deciding to read certain portions of scripture learning more about indigenous cultures and the truth and reconciliation, and deciding to do a, a random act of kindness at least once a week. And then the third thing we do is read together a, uh, the Christmas story. Uh, for many years, especially when the kids were little, we used uh, this book, and it uh, became affectionately known as the sheepy story in our family. And over the years, we have uh, read through uh, scripture and Luke 2 as well. And then after we're done all that, then Peter usually closes us in prayer. And then we get to open our gifts to one another. Merry Christmas, everyone.